Okay guys, so my name is Luciano Giacometti and in this course I'm going to show to you how to optimize your meshes and create imposters. So this is my art station. If you want to send me a message, you can go here. This is an example of what I've made with the new version. This is a old version for the Unreal Engine 4.22. And you can see the difference between your original mesh and the imposters. Imposters are like the billboards, but is a lot more complex. Have the 360 degrees of the image of your mesh. So it's very optimized. And you can see examples of game using this, like probably the Red Dead Redemption, since the imposters are very, very good. And who created this imposter baker for the Unreal Engine was the Ryan Brooks, but his, his project will only work until the Unreal Engine 4.21. So if you want to use to 42 until the Unreal Engine 4.25, we, you can use my GitHub and get my files. So, I will show to you how to create the imposters during this free class. If you want to know more about advanced technique to create LODs and create the imposters, you can have my course on Udemy. The link will be in the description. So this is the original post. This is my link for my for my GitHub. So you can have my my tool. You can go to code on the GitHub and zip code, download zip. All right. So you save on your hard drive and then I will show to you where you need to put this folder. So I will open my Epic Games. Okay, go to Liberty, find your project, click on showing folder with the right click. So you need to create this folder called plugins. This is the where we download the GitHub. And you need to extract that folder and put on plugins. The plugins must be right in the same way as the mine and you just extract the folder inside the plugins just do that and open your project okay this is very easy just create the plugins put the the content and extract just that very easy to do Okay, so I open my project, put the show plugin content. So right now you can see, you can see if you enable, you will see the imposter baker folder. You can see imposter baker content, go to imposter baker, find the maps and open this map. So here we have some instructions from the Ryan about how we can set up our, our materials to properly bake the imposters and have some uh, good instructions. You see, you got the bake directions. This is very easy to understand. This I will use this mesh as the example. So put the size in the scale to 111 because I've increased to showcase to you the, the mesh. So if you bake using the scale one, will be fine. Put the cube as the reference. Just click on your BP and okay. 
the position right here doesn't matter the position of the the blueprint doesn't matter if you have the reference of the mesh we already done okay so first we need to add the imposter capture suite to the material function so you can verify your list of the materials right here right now we have five different materials for this mesh so we need to add the material function in all of these materials and add this the imposter capture suite you right click and type imposters and you can find imposter capture suite if you have your plugins installed in your project okay so you need this and you type make material attributes and connect all the channels in the property name your material will have this I will show to you just disable this your material must be right here and with the base color connected and the roughness and the specular so you click on use material attributes to put like in this node and connect and make attributes to connect everything before don't worry i will show to you in the next class what is the step by step but you just need to do this you connect the material function of the material capture suite before the end of your material node so i can close this and all of the other materials have the the same configuration okay so if you get close you're gonna see some problems but imposters is to be used in far distance of course the imposter don't will capture the metallic values so this is why we are seeing a, a white color in the metallic this is a limitation right now but if you don't are using this spec not are using the metallic values will be fine this is some instructions that you can follow this is very useful you can find another instructions in the Ryan Brooks blog but let's focus on create the billboard the imposters and click on your BP you have the reference of your static mesh clear the RT and then click on render frames make sure you have the upper hemisphere selected as the option of the imposter type and we are done this is the place where we are gonna save you can see have the name of the texture I will expand to you understand so this is the name of the texture you can type any name make sure to use the the beginning of the of this this will be this the place when we're gonna save we're gonna create and save this asset so click on render on create static asset sorry to generate the textures and to generate the material instance will take some seconds and then you can save only the textures and the material instance don't save this level because if you try to save this probably will crash the unreal editor because i'm using a dynamic material so don't worry just uncheck the static asset and the and the multiple assets that will be the the level and the other assets in this level so we save just the textures this is how we look like our 
our texture have 16 by 16 image we set up this on the blueprint this is like a photogrammetry around your mesh and are using the 4k resolution since we put the 4k resolution to be rendered all of this configuration are in the BP this is the generated word normal map but we need to change the this to the proper use the word normal and here we have the 16 16 image on the alpha we have the deep of this and this will be where we save okay this is the same name where we choose to save this is the name of the textures this is the channel that we created basic color deep and word normal and I back okay so we create the this asset and the channels where where we save the basic color deep and word normal so this is the important settings and right here we can set the resolution is the 4k this is why we save the texture as the 4k resolution but then you can use the LOD bias of the texture to reduce. So the next step is to create the, the mesh of the imposters. So you choose the, you click on procedural mesh on your BP. This is the dynamic material. So if you save your texture or remove the level, you crash the editor because of this is a dynamic instance and go to procedural mesh and have a button a little down called create static mesh so just click on the procedural mesh when you already create your static asset you already create your textures and your material instance and then you click on procedural mesh and then click on this button called create static mesh choose a place to be saved i like to let in the meshes and give the name of my static mesh okay so right now you need to navigate to this folder called in the content meshes and I give the name of cube so you mark this right click go to asset actions go to export give a name and choose one place to be saved on your hard drive I like to put my in my second hard drive click in export okay so now you need to don't save okay delete this mesh that we created because if you go to new level you crash the editor so mark our cube mesh if you double click we open and this is the reference that we are using don't worry about that just delete this mesh okay the reference is inside this level so that is why we crash the editor find where your mesh are mark and delete okay you already deleted so don't worry anymore open your static asset in my case this asset is from the editor so so i duplicate this asset and put in a folder on my project i just drag and put the move here because i've already duplicated this asset so right now i can put my 
in my mesh in my scene we still have the problems of we don't have the imposters yet so don't worry open your static mesh this is the static mesh are using a huge number of triangles for a simple object but don't worry these don't have LODs only have the LOD zero I will click on the little X to delete and use it material so now we have just five materials and we need to import our LOD to be used as the imposter so go to LOD settings and import find the cube that you export for your hard drive let's wait a little okay was imported and you can see right now we have two different LOD, LOD0 and LOD1. LOD0, I use thousands and thousands of triangles to represent this mesh. And our imposter will use just eight triangles. You can put the new reference. Put the reference of this material instance inside the static mesh so now we have a properly um, imposter setup on your static mesh